Hello, my beautiful singles. Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the weekend. Is it this weekend? Is it next weekend? I don't know. It's up to you. Um, please understand that this is a general reading. And uh, so for some of you, this could come down in the next 48 hours. And for others of you, it may be a different weekend. But take it as it all resonates for you. So welcome, welcome here, whether you are brand new or you have never been here before. If you are the ride or die, the one who's always clicking here, thanks for doing that. And if you're the person who's never been here before, welcome. So um, what am I going to do today? Well, I'm going to come back here and do it every Friday. I do a reading for the singles. And so I'm going to read from Aries to Pisces. I'm going to mark everything down below in the description so you can just scroll this video to find out what it is that you need in terms of energies. But please, 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 I'm going to ask you to stop watching tarot just for your sun sign. You don't really have um, any of the picture if you're just watching it for your personality. So what kind of Aries? What kind of Aquarius? What kind of Pisces are you? It depends on your moon and your rising. And that's what makes you different from all of the other people who have your same sun sign. So I hope that you will find a natal chart on the internet. It is free everywhere. So find a natal chart. You don't need to be an astrologer to know what your moon, your sun, and your rising is. All right, so um, these readings are intended as love readings. Please understand that's my intention when I do this reading. But if other things come up, I'm not going to ignore it. I'm here to give you messages, and that's what I'm going to do, whether they're love messages or not. So take that into consideration as you're watching. And um, the last things last, if you are interested in a private read, please look below this video. You will find uh, a link and all the other information you need about the 10% off sale. Private readings are 10% off until the 30th of June. Please check out the, um, the pinned comment at the top of the comments below this video. All right, enough of the blah blahs. I like to get them out of the way early. <laughs> Here we go, let's find out what's going on. We'll start with Aries singles. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Aries singles, please. What's coming up for the sneak peek for the weekend? Tell me about Aries singles, please. Tell me about Aries singles. What's going on with Aries, please? Tell me about Aries singles. We've got the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Tell me why that we have the Hierophant here for Aries singles. We have the um, the Knight of Cups. Interesting. So a romantic commitment, my friend. Tell me more about this. We have the Knight. Somebody wants to talk about this. <laughs> is it you or is it them? Is it Aries who wants to talk about this, this um, romantic commitment? Or is it somebody else? Tell me more. Could be someone who is a uh, Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer. Look at that. So we do have some sort of romantic commitment that I think is going to be brought to light. So it looks like somebody wants to say something about their feelings. We do have the we do have the Knight of Swords, who is Gemini, and then we have the Queen, right? The Queen of uh, Cups. Who I want to say that uh, somebody here is showing me their softer side. Hmm. Yes. Yesterday I cried. You must have been relieved to see the softer side. That song is um, Meredith something or other, I think. Meredith Brooks, maybe. It's called Bitch. <laughs> and so I feel like somebody here, it almost feels Aries. Like it feels like you feel like someone is, you would like to see their softer side. I feel like you want to see the softer side, the one that is loving and caring and compassionate. But I think that you know that in order to get some sort of a romantic commitment, you're going to have to speak up about your feelings. I feel like you do have some pretty deep, romantic, emotional, sort of committed feelings for somebody here. Tell me about Aries singles, please. Tell me more about Aries singles. feel it's like uh, if it's not a romantic commitment for some of you it feels like somebody has learned because to me the Hierophant is <clears throat> is the teacher and shows up when a lesson has been learned so it feels like somebody here has realized or learned that they have some romantic feelings for someone and they need to speak up you could be it could be a Gemini could be a Taurus could be a water sign Scorpio Pisces Cancer tell me more about this please We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Why is that? We've got the Six of Cups. Interesting. So I feel like somebody here is very confident that if they show their feelings to someone else, if I decide to speak it out loud finally and just 
throw it at this person. <laughs> I'm saying throw it at this person because the knight is not very, not very um, soft and passive, right? The, the, this particular knight is kind of aggressive. So it feels like somebody really, really does want to speak to someone about their feelings. Now, somebody is confident that the other person feels the same way because the Two of Cups is here. So I'm going to say, Aries, that you feel that you are confident that someone else feels the way you do about the situation. This is somebody that um, that you've known for a long time, somebody that you have history with or nostalgia with. It is emotional, like heart space nostalgia. So you're thinking about happy times that you had with this person. But I think that the reason that you're confident because of the Nine of Pentacles being here is not only because you're solid and ground and I feel like you're you're doing really well with your finances maybe you're an entrepreneur or business owner and things are going well it's not only that I feel like you're you're confident that this person is going to return your love right to a cups is going to return your love because you've known this person for a long time and you're pretty darn sure that they are a soulmate we've got the uh, three of swords but you still have that feeling in the back of your head what if they say no tell me about the three of swords We've got the Seven of Cups. Will you get hurt, right? This particular Seven of Cups, you can see this person is holding the two at the bottom. And then there's five up top. So it's like I, I feel like the Three of Swords is telling me, but we are soulmates. I know that we are soulmates in the pentacle world. And that means that I don't feel like you've dated this person before. I don't feel like you've had any love relationship with this person before. But I do feel like you know them, care for them. You've known them for a long time. And it's somebody that you've been possibly hiding your feelings from um, because when the when the knight shows up here next to the queen of cups it feels like somebody is about to be <laughs> i want to say a little bit aggressive maybe maybe you're kind of impatient it's like you can no longer hold yourself back from these feelings but i feel like you haven't said anything just yet because you're scared you'll get hurt you are interested in love she's got two cups there's two cups here right you are interested in in love i feel um, but you're worried. Will this soulmate recognize you as the soulmate? Uh, we do have the devil card. Why is that? I think this is doubt. I think it's fear. I feel as though it's you're scared that it will end up in a codependent situation. We have the death card. So no more fear. I love it. You are transforming. I'm going to say whoever you are, Aries. It feels like you're going to transform your fear, your doubt, all those things that are with the with the um, the devil card, I want to say that you you're taking these these feelings of well, what if this person's codependent? What if they have an addiction? What if they you know? It feels like it's the what ifs that come with the death card and um, uh, sorry the the devil card and then the death card shows up and says no, it's fine. You know what? There's there's nothing to worry about here. This person is not codependent. They're they don't doubt their love for you, and I don't think you doubt it for them. Tell me what happens here. Tell me what uh, Aries is supposed to do this weekend. What is Aries supposed to do this weekend? I feel like you're supposed to make contact, my friend. I feel like you're supposed to speed things up. I always see this person as being a, it's like a, a surfer of words. <laughs> That's what it feels like here. I feel like you're supposed to communicate. You're supposed to move forward here. Because I feel like somebody is waiting for you to contact them, Aries. We do have the King of Wands, so you're waiting for inspiration. So the King of Wands never does anything without feeling inspired. And so I feel like you're just waiting for inspiration before you communicate with this person. What happens here? What's the outcome? I feel like your intuition uh, is telling you that this is a soulmate connection here. We have the King and the Queen of Cups, right? And then we have the Five of Wands. And I think that this is the reason why, if you haven't said anything, why you haven't said anything yet. Because I feel like you think that there's a competition for this person. And so you don't want to get involved in competition. And uh, if you want to go in, you want to know that you're going to win. And that tells me you're the Emperor because that's, that's what the Emperor would do. The Emperor does not take chances, doesn't take risks, cannot, is running the Empire, cannot risk everything for love so i feel like um i feel like you are going to take a step forward your intuition is telling you that this is your person right the king and the queen of cups that this is a really deeply connected psychic maybe psychic intuitive connection that's what it feels like but i feel like we we end this uh here with you being a little bit um holding back i'm gonna say a little bit apprehensive about what's going to go on so i mean it's totally up to you some of you will step forward this weekend and some of you won't we've got aries sagittarius leo scorpio capricorn uh, we've got scorpio pisces cancer more pisces energy and taurus 
All right. Speaking of Taurus, <laughs> speaking of the bull gang, let's find out what's going on for Taurus here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Taurus. Let's find out what's going on for Taurus. Taurus, if you're interested in a private read, please look into uh, the comment section. There's a, a pinned comment there that tells you about a 10% off sale. Tell me about Taurus, please. What's coming up this weekend for the single Taurus, please? What's coming up on the weekend for the single Taurus? Single Taurus. Sneak peek for the single Taurus, please. We do have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. It's like uh, we're starting out with energy telling me that you are pretty stable at this point. I think this weekend is, is a weekend of stability. It's a weekend of taking care around the home, I think. We've got the sun. Interesting. I feel like um, Taurus is about to have some sort of a breakthrough or realization. It feels like, I want to say that with the Queen of Pentacles and the sun, Taurus, and I think that I'm not only hearing this in my readings, but I'm hearing it all over the place, that it's it's like there's something coming up, Taurus, that is about to, to hit really close to home as it pertains to money. It feels like with the sun, it's like a breakthrough in finances. So if you've been waiting for that job, you're going to get the call. If you've been waiting for um, the whatever it is, the, the, the thing to come through for you, you're waiting on that check, you're waiting on that final payment, maybe your taxes, whatever it is, something is about to um, have a breakthrough in your finances here. It's about to grow your finances. Tell me more about Taurus. What else do we need to know about the sun? Some of you might have a breakthrough with a Leo. If it, is, uh, if it is a Leo you're dealing with, and it doesn't have to be, we've got Aries Gemini here, um, it feels like there is, there is about to be some sort of a new beginning here, it looks like. So we've got the Sun and um, the Queen of Pentacles, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Uh, if for some of you, the Leo could have walked away from you, and uh, I feel like you feel like this Leo may have, have gone off to have a new start with somebody else here. Now, I feel like um, for some of you also, I want to say that you're very focused on your money or your home or I don't know, whatever it is that's keeping you entertained in your pentacle world. And I want to say that um, that is causing you to maybe be kind of disconnected from feelings, that you've got some sort of a new beginning happening in your pentacle world, like a financial thing or your or home or something like that. We've got um, the fool. The Fool and the Eight of uh, the Eight of Wands. So it tells me here that things are about to move quicker for you. Swiftness. Disconnected emotionally from some sort of a breakthrough in the pentacle world that's bringing you a new beginning. It does feel like a windfall, my friend. It does feel like a, it feels like things are about to speed up. You're about to be put on some sort of a new path here because you walked away from something that didn't serve you. And I feel like it, it could have been uh, someone who is a Leo or maybe another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly an Aries or a Gemini, but it feels like you walked away from something and you decided, you know what, I gotta leave this behind. I think it's a breakthrough and a realization that you've got to leave it behind and uh, and and carry on with some sort of new beginning and I feel like I feel like the new beginning is is going to come very quickly and when it does arrive it's going to be moving really fast. Tell me more about um, Taurus here. The Queen of Pentacles. We've got um, the Queen of Cups. Why do we have the Queen of Cups here, please? We've got the Judgment card. There has to be a decision made about love or emotions or feelings. I feel like the one that you're making the decision about is somebody from the past. What is the decision here? Why is the judgment card here? We have the uh, the Ten of Pentacles. 
we have to make a decision about what we're doing here it looks like somebody here is uh, for some of you might be still even though you're moving forward you've got this new this new beginning you're moving forward things are about to go quickly but I feel like it's um, you're still sort of longing for the past it feels like um, you're sort of looking in the past and waiting it's almost as if I want to say it's almost as if you are um, walking out of a room that's empty taking one last look back there and then like heading out that's what it looks like here so it looks like somebody's taking one last look back there is this person coming or not and if they're not I feel like it's 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 time to get things on the road here we do have the page of um, wands and the justice card it feels like you are taking one look back here Taurus to see if that person is going to arrive and if they're not I think you're you're heading out to, to do something new tell me about this new path here for Taurus please tell me about this new path what's coming up here for Taurus tell me about the new path for Taurus we have um, the six of pentacles in the reverse so I want to say that you're justified with moving forward because you're not getting you're not getting reciprocity from the person that you thought you would and I don't think you're going to to be honest I feel like I feel like you've decided I'm no longer gonna wait I'm no longer gonna beg for their attention I'm no longer gonna wait and we do have the ace of swords which tells me this is a this is a realization Taurus you've had some sort of clarity in a situation that's brought you balance it's time to move on I love that you know what I love when I see the the collective shift here and that's what it looks like somebody has had a realization that I can't wait around anymore for this person I can't wait around anymore for whatever it is that they're deciding to do i know that there is a long-term happy relationship out there for me i just need to get on a new path so i feel like this weekend for some of you you're getting on the new path which is going to bring karmic justice it is going to bring you balance here um and then it's because you've realized that you're not get, you're not going to get reciprocity from the person in the past and even if you do i feel like it's short-lived because the six of swords is here i feel like it's very short-lived it becomes chaotic chaotic very quickly and then you decide to move along so what you don't see is that there is some balance coming here and and the balance is coming after you close the chapter here so after you bring things to um a close here Taurus what happens I feel like somebody here is making a really big decision to finally let go of that person from the past and I don't mean physically I feel like you've let them go physically a long time ago but energetically you can't let them go Taurus I feel like this is finally telling me that there is a big shift a decision decision it's a it's a pentacle decision it's a decision in the 3d that that you don't see coming so i feel like it's coming this weekend for you tell me what happens after taurus closes the door for good we have the um the queen of swords in the reverse we do have the nine of pentacles and the three of swords i feel like you finally get to grieve you finally get get to um to move forward and it is a sad thing I'm gonna say it's not a happy thing I feel like you're like fine I'm just gonna leave it in the background I feel like um, that you are heartbroken but I want to say that you are prepared for whatever is coming up next you're being practical with your heart space this weekend Taurus and with the Queen of Swords in the reverse I feel like it's pissing you right off I'm just gonna say it's pissing you right off I just finally have to cut this this joker out of my life whoever they are feminine or masculine it's time for me to move forward you could be dealing with someone who is um, who is yeah we've got we've got um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn Scorpio Pisces Cancer Libra Gemini Aquarius we've got Virgo Pisces Libra Scorpio Taurus Aquarius Leo um, we've got just about all the signs are here look it feels like you are finally making a decision to move forward in order to get balance but it doesn't mean you're still not going to grieve you are going to grieve it but at least now you're at the grieving process understand that when you don't when you do, do not choose to end it you are forever waiting in that purgatory place right but when you finally decide that you're going to close the door then you can finally grieve it when it's finally over we've got the knight of wands i feel like your healing is coming faster than you think we've got the um the queen of wands yeah coming faster than you think the confusion the seven of cups the confusion ends up being the wheel of fortune yeah the change is is something that is going to bring you calm the high priestess is here you've listened to your intuition finally taurus it's time for you to carry forward the uh the uh page of pentacles is also under the deck oh yeah i, I forgot to say we also have pisces and cancer here we have libra um, we've got Scorpio, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Virgo, 
um, Pisces, Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, uh, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and all of the rest. All right, I like it. I like the shift, Taurus. Tell me about Gemini. Happy birthday, Gemini. If your birthday is today, happy birthday to you. I hope you'll say it in the comments so we can all join in and wish you a happy birthday. Um, Gemini, let's find out what's going on for you. And if you're interested in a private read, please look at the pinned comment above the comments. There is a 10% off sale on private reads. Let's find out what's going on for Gemini, please. Single Gemini for the weekend. Tell me what's coming up for Gemini. Single Gemini for the weekend, please. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Single Gemini. Sneak peek for Single Gemini. All right. We've got uh, the Six of Wands. There is a, You're about to get some attention this weekend, I feel. Um, that It feels like there is some sort of a celebration or people are celebrating you. People are recognizing you. We've got uh, the devil energy here. I don't think that you like to have the spotlight, Gemini. Like, I, I, I want to say that this particular Gemini that I'm speaking with, you could have Leo energy, maybe Capricorn, but it feels like you're... Um, you don't like to be in big crowds, my friend. You don't like to be in big crowds. You don't like when people make a hullabaloo over you, a big hubbub over you. That's what it feels like here, but I think it's coming up this weekend. Tell me about justice. Ten Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Cups. The Ace of Cups is here. Yeah, it does feel like somebody here has... Um, I feel like you... you it, I wouldn't necessarily call it a fear. It makes you feel uncomfortable, I'm going to say. When people fawn over you, when you get a lot of attention, maybe it just makes you feel uncomfortable. I want to say that, that what you want is just balance this weekend. I feel that's what you want. For some of you, I feel like you are confused about whether or not you're in a relationship. <laughs> I'm just going to say you're probably the guy. <laughs> You're probably the masculine. <laughs> Masculines never know when they're quite in a relationship. <laughs> um, Seven of, of Cups tells me that um, there's a lot of options here. Um, a lot of options. I feel like for somebody here, it feels like you are interested in finding someone who's long term, but someone who's long term and it being very balanced. I feel like your biggest fear here is that um, you're going to attract the wrong kind of people, right? The attraction is the six of wands. I feel like you feel you're going to attract someone who is um, who is codependent or someone who has addictions or um, someone who is obsessive. Maybe you've been through that kind of thing before. It feels like what you're looking for is a very balanced and solid long-term relationship here. And I feel like you do have a lot of options at this time, a lot of emotional options, like of the heart space, and maybe you're not really sure who you should pick. That's what it feels like. Tell me more. Tell me more. Gemini, we've got Cancer, sorry, the Chariot energy here, which is Cancer. We've got the Knight of Cups is in the reverse. Yeah, it feels to me like you, you are, I feel like you really want it. I feel like you really want a relationship. I feel like you, you want to do the whole thing, right? You want to meet somebody, get involved, but you really want it to be stable, but passionate and fun as well. Not so serious, right? It feels like what you don't see is that there is an opportunity coming for you here. I feel like for some of you, you will meet somebody here, um, an opportunity. We've got the King of Cups in the reverse, though. So it tells me the King of Cups is in the reverse and the moon is here. I want to say that um, you have a, a lot of feelings that you want to share, but I think you're apprehensive about romance. I feel like I've got somebody here who's kind of holding themselves back because they feel like that the Four of Wands just e eventually leads to the Three of Swords. That's what it feels like. That you're scared. Maybe not scared is the right word. Well, maybe there is fear because we do have the Devil card here. But it feels like somebody wants the relationship. But how do I know if this person's not going to be hanging on me every five minutes? Like, I feel like there's somebody here who just wants to love freely. And I don't mean that in, in any nefarious way. Like, I don't think that you want an open relationship or anything, but I feel like you are somebody who really enjoys your own time and that um, you need to have somebody who can who can give you the balance of, of emotional connection, of deep emotional connection, but also someone who's going to leave you the hell alone. <laughs> like, that's what it feels like here. 
<laughs> like you don't want somebody who's codependent, who's going to need you every five minutes, or who's going to need you at all, I think. We've got the Hierophant, we've got the Sun, and we have the Six of Cups. So you're open to a relationship, but you know what I think, Gemini? I feel like you're, you're not interested in just dating for the sake of dating. I think that you are looking for prospects, and you are feeling out prospects for true connection and commitment. And I feel like you've decided or had a breakthrough or a realization that the only way, the only way that you're going to get involved with somebody is through the Six of Cups. Somebody who either you've known for a while or somebody who you feel like you've known forever. So you are not really interested, I feel, in any connections that are going to bring just fire. I feel like you are interested in settling down because the Taurus is here. You're interested in, in settling down and finding someone who will commit to you. Um, four cups, two of pentacles. You're tired of sitting in this energy of, I need to make a decision. The six of pentacles is in the reverse. It feels like a, a, you're, it's back and forth. Like, I feel like you're in the seven of wands. Like, it's back and forth. It's like, I want it, but I don't want it. What I want is this, but I don't want it. But I do want a commitment, but I don't want someone who's codependent. I do need someone who's balanced, and maybe I'll consider a long-term relationship, but I need someone who knows me deeply, who loves me deeply, but yet the Knight of Cups is in the reverse. You're not willing to share your romantic energy. So you need to make a decision, Gemini. And this sort of tells me about Gemini going back and forth and back and forth. You're the duality, right? And so I feel like you're, on one hand, you're like, yeah, I'm into the long-term relationship, but I want something balanced. I have my criteria. I know what I want. Um, but, you know, four of, four of Wands always ends up in the broken heart for me. So maybe you don't, you don't go through the living together phase. Maybe you go through the dating to find a, a commitment sort of phase, and you don't move anybody in. You don't rush it along. You don't, you don't move fast. I feel like you, what you want is you want what you want, right? You've got your boundaries up. I feel like you are kind of bored with... Um, with dealing with two of pentacle relationships. People who really aren't putting in as much work as you or much effort as you. Six of pentacles is in the reverse. So I feel like right now you're kind of in this place of standing your ground or maybe just holding people at arm's length. Um, I feel like it, it tells me that you're kind of confused about what you want. Like, I think you know what you want, but I, I feel like you're not willing to at this time put the hard work in that's needed in order to find the kind of connection that you want because it's going to have to take meeting people deciding if they're right for you are they compatible like it, you have to go through all that stuff there's no shortcuts we have pisces and cancer energy here uh, we do have uh, leo taurus libra capricorn so you are open i feel to someone who might want to get into a long-term committed relationship but i don't think i think your your days of just dating this one that one the other one are over i think that you want to meet someone be solid be exclusive does it work does it not like i feel like you're you're really on the hunt for someone that you're going to have in your life for a really long time gemini all right cancer here we go let's talk about you cancer singles please tell me about single cancer Cancer, if you're interested in a private read, please look at the pinned comment below this video. It's above all the other comments there. So there's a sale, 10% off private reads. Tell me about Cancer, please. What's coming up? What's coming up for Cancer? Single Cancer, please. Sneak peek for Single Cancer. I've got the Eight of Cups. Cancer, I feel like you're in some sort of a, a, a sad sort of energy right now. Because something here is taking really a really long time. I want to say that there is somebody here that I feel that you are off and on with or somebody that you're not sure of how you feel about them. If you can just look at this depiction, we've got the five cups at the bottom here and then we have two cups that are poured out. She's looking in one. Somebody's walking away. It almost feels like you feel something is over or is taking too long to come to fruition. It's like you're holding out the opportunity and someone has not, not yet taken it from you. Um, I want to say that um, the Eight of Cups is telling me that you're in regret. Regret about something from the past that ended, and I feel like you walked away from it because there was nothing left here. There was nothing left in that cup. And I feel like um, you, you carried on, and I feel like you are holding out this opportunity for someone else here. 
I don't know if you're ready though. It really does feel like you're not ready. It feels like you're still, your heart is still broken over something or you're still in regret or sadness about something that didn't work out in the past. We have the lovers. It does feel like it is somebody who, um, somebody who you had chosen possibly, or maybe you're ready to choose someone else. Tell me about the lovers. Your intuition. Your gut is telling you that there is somebody out here. Who are we talking about? We've got the star. So you do have your eye on someone. You're trying to, I feel cancer, go through your intuition. I think you're listening to the self, which is great. I also feel as though you're turning your back on whatever didn't, didn't work for you back there. And it's time to slowly move toward a different opportunity. I feel like the opportunity is here with someone that you already know. The lovers is here. It could be somebody that you're choosing, someone that your intuition or your gut is telling you is the right one. This person is the star. I feel like to you, they are the star. They are balanced when you hang out with them. They are hopeful. They give you hope or they, they um, like your, your, I feel like your intuitive self is saying this could be the one. Tell me more. the five of pentacles the empress the chariot so it it does look like here uh cancer that it is i feel like your the opportunity you want is with the empress but i feel like the empress is not really paying attention to your opportunity i feel like you're holding it out now look the thing is this is maybe you think you're holding out this opportunity to this person and it should be plain you know, it should be plain for them to see that I really do want to be in a relationship with them. But I feel like for some reason, the Empress is not connecting to you emotionally. And it might be because your feelings are under the surface with the chariot energy here. This is your energy, Cancer. I feel like the Empress knows that you want victory, but feels like you're not being completely honest or upfront about what, what this relationship looks like. I feel like this person wants you to be truthful, wants you to be honest. This person is, I feel like you're, I feel like you're both trying to catch each other in a lie. Like it's like you, you don't want to believe that it's true. I feel like you are giving reciprocity to this person. And to you, it's plainly clear that you want to be with this person, celebrate with this person, go out with this person. But I don't know that it's very clear to the Empress. Tell me about the Empress, please. Why is the Empress disconnected from cancer here? Tell me about the Empress. Two of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Devil. I feel like the Empress is engaged and obsessively thinking about all the things that could go wrong. Do you already know this person? Because it feels like you might know this person. It feels like they're, that you, hang on. Yeah, it does feel like the Empress feels like things are barely in balance with you and them. Waiting for the tower to fall, waiting for a realization. It's like they're waiting. It feels like somebody doesn't trust you. That's what it feels like. Why is the seven here? Seven confusion. Confidence that the king of wands is going to take off. Has something happened here before? Like it feels like um it feels like somebody feels as though if they get if they put in the hard work and they get solid and grounded with you, that they feel like you might decide you want something else. The King of Wands is the one who makes quick decisions, right? Quick decisions. And although they're not the night energy, they are still the King of Wands and they will go after the passions of their heart. So I feel like the what, the reason the Empress is holding back from you, Cancer, is because she feels like you're just going to go along this path with her and then just go this way and leave her over there. So it feels like somebody here doesn't necessarily trust that the opportunity that you're ready to give to them is a solid, sturdy new beginning. It feels like the moon energy is here causing, causing somebody to, um, to feel like they have a lot of big, deep feelings for you, but this person is not... Is not you're not giving either not giving them enough attention or they feel scared or afraid and that's why they've kind of disconnected themselves they feel like you you might not hang in there for the long term we've got the nine of swords in the reverse we've got the page of swords in the reverse and we have the four of the four of wands 
yeah, this person doesn't trust you. That's what it is with the with the knight of or sorry the page of swords in the reverse. This person doesn't really trust that you're in for it for the long haul. They feel like you're misrepresenting the situation. They feel like they're being pulled into something, like seduced into something here, or maybe they feel that what you want is seduction, uh, seduction and fire. And this person is um, is not sure that you're going to hang out. They feel like with the Seven of Swords being under here, because that's what all this clarification is about, the Seven of Swords being under here, they feel like with the, with the Chariot here, that they can't trust you. And so I feel like they, with this um, Page of Swords in the reverse, they know that you have a good time together with each other, but they want time to gather more information. Page of Cups. So they're trying to decide if they want a new beginning. So Cancer, I feel like you're you're entangled energetically with the Empress. That's what it feels like. And this person knows that what you want. They feel like you're kind of showing up in a seductive kind of energy. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I feel like um, this person is waiting, waiting for something to go wrong. And I want to say that they're feeling disconnected from their feelings. They don't know if you've healed yet. They also don't know if you've chosen them. So something here is not clear. They're trying to get clarity on whether they should begin again with you or not. It feels like they're unsure or unclear about what you want. Do you want the Four of Wands with them? Or with the um, with the Page of Swords in the reverse? Is it challenge in communication? Challenges with communication? Maybe you're not communicating it to this person. You think that it's just plainly aware, like they should be plainly aware that you're ready to offer something to them. But it feels like um, this person feels like you have an impulsive nature, that you'll take them so far down the path and then you'll head out. And I don't know if that's because it's happened before or if this is something that the Empress has experienced in the past. But it feels like um, this weekend, it you know I feel like you do want the long term here, but it's time to talk about that. I think you're going to have to verbalize it. If you want this person to, um, to understand, we've got the Queen of Swords here. If you want them to understand how you feel, you need to say it, Cancer. You can't assume that they know just by holding out the pentacle to them. We have Cancer and Pisces energy here, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We've got Virgo energy. We've got uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio. We've got more Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Gemini, um, Virgo. There we go. All right, all right. Tell me about Leo. Tell me about Leo, please. Single Leo for the weekend. Sneak peek for single Leo. Leo, if you're interested in a private read, please look at the pinned comment below this video. It's at, pinned to the top of the comments. If you're interested in 10% off trying a private read, that would be the time to do it. We've got the Two of Swords, Leo. This weekend has got you trying to make a decision about something. You feel like you don't have all the details. It feels like there's something you're failing to see or you can't make a decision because it feels way more balanced to be in indecision or to not make a decision than it does if you were to make a decision. We've got the uh, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. The decision you're trying to make is whether to be vulnerable with someone or not. That's what it feels like here. Tell me more about Leo, please. We've got the Six of Cups. There is somebody here who you've got some history with or nostalgic thoughts and feelings with. I feel like you're, you are wondering or thinking about whether you should be, um, whether you should be vulnerable with this person. I feel like this person um, gives you a lot of attention, but maybe Maybe it's not just this person. Maybe you're a person who gets a lot of attention. So it does feel like, Leo, that you're trying to decide, am I willing to shut down all of this all of this attention that I get with other people? Am I willing to just focus it on one person that I want to be vulnerable with? We've got the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you... Um, that you do want some sort of victory in a new beginning, that you do want to plant a pentacle somewhere. It does feel like you're ready for stability. You're ready to just be like with one person possibly, but it's going to mean giving up everything else. And I'm looking at the Six of Wands. That is Leo energy. And it is somebody who is, you know, getting a lot of attention because of their accomplishments or coming back from the fight, coming back from the war, right? Somebody who's been through a lot. And um, maybe that's the reason that... You're undecided about whether or not you want 
you want to you want to um, be on this brand new, stable, sturdy path. I feel like, you know, you're Leo, you require passion, you require fire. And so I feel like this is not only a, a, a path that is brand new, that you're, if you want to, the universe is saying, if you want to, you can invest here if you want to, but you're gonna have to give up all the other things, right? All the other people possibly, because there's a lot of, a lot of attention that you get here. And um, are you willing to give up the attention? Because you'll, there is something solid and sturdy here. And it is passionate as well, by the way, there is a lot of passion, excitement, fun, creativity here. Um, but you have to give up all of the other options that you have here in love. We do have the ace. Wow. The universe is like, look, you're the magician. You can have whatever you want. You just got to take the blindfold off. You got to take that blindfold off, Leo, and decide what you're going to do. All it is is a decision that you have to make. You got to be crystal clear in the mind about what you want to do. Do you want this new path? Because this is a new path not only that is stable and secure, but it also is a path that is exciting and happy and full of passion and fire. It is a love situation. It's also about love, um, something brand new. Um, I feel like you're wanting to express your love to somebody with the King of Swords being here. The King of Swords is about truth, honesty, justice, right? And I feel like you want to be truthful, honest, and transparent with somebody. And I think that's why the Four of Pentacles is in the reverse. It feels like you're about to be very vulnerable with someone who um, maybe you feel that that is someone that, look, I've known this person for a long time. They give me a lot of attention, but I'm not really sure if I want to give up the attention of other people in order to um, be with one person. Because I feel that what your experience has been in the past, Leo, is when you're with one person, it quickly slips into some place of boredom or redundancy. And you don't want that. You're fired. You need to have action, right? You need to have action, playful fun, um, that kind of thing. Passion, for sure. We do have the Six of Pentacles here. And and I do feel that that you do want reciprocity from somebody here. Um, they could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. They don't have to be. They could be another Leo. Um, it feels like you do want to give and get reciprocity here with someone with the Six of Pentacles, but you're not going to beg. And I think that the biggest deal is right here. I feel like all of these doors are opening for you here. I feel like you've accomplished something really big. The Six of Wands being here, you've accomplished something really big, pulled yourself out of some hard situation, and now all these doors are opening for you. And you just need to make a decision, right, about what you want, clear and true. What is it that you want? I feel that you do want some sort of relationship with somebody here you feel is a, is a soulmate. I was going to say a roommate. Could be a roommate. But um, a soulmate. Uh, the um, King of Swords is telling me that you want to make the decision. But to you, if you if you get involved with this person, you, you're scared that it will slowly get very boring very fast. And that's why you don't commit to relationships. Because you don't like the boredom of a relationship. You don't like the redundancy that it gets into. We do have the world card. If you want a long-term relationship, you're going to have to close the door on this thinking pattern, my friend. You're going to have to take a shot at some point if you want something that is solid. Look, we have all four swords out here. You are the magician. You have a choice. The choice is all yours. If you feel like you don't, you're wrong. It feels like it's going to have to start with you being very vulnerable with somebody, though. And letting them know through words, not just actions, not just actions, not just love, not just money. You have to show them through words how you feel. You need to tell them, I'd like this new beginning. The Four of Pentacles is in the reverse, saying this is a good time to do it. The World card is here telling me that, you know, I think these are all of your thoughts. And I think all of your thoughts are valid. But I feel like if you... Um, if you work on it, if you decide to work on it, that you can do whatever you want here because you have the four swords. You can do whatever you want here and it feels like you've got to cull your fears or you're just not going to be able to be with this person. We've got the nine of cups in the reverse. To me, it feels like you think that once you have the conversation, it's going to kill everything. I feel like the Nine of Cups in the reverse says, well, what if this person isn't my wish fulfillment? Then what? Well, then you have that conversation and you talk about, well, maybe this isn't my wish fulfillment. It's coming up here. We've got the Queen of Cups. We've got the Three of Pentacles and we've got the Nine of Coins. So I feel like this person is somebody you're trying to decide whether this is better as a friendship or should I cross the line into love? The Queen of Cups could be the person we're talking about. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. 
this person is really good on their own. They're very, um, they're very capable on their own. They, they pay their own bills. They do their own thing. It's not like they're ever going to be codependent with you. But I think that this is the decision that you're trying to make here. The decision is, I'm trying to make a decision about um, this kind, compassionate, loving person. Do I want to keep them as a friend? Or do I want to move forward into a relationship? I feel like you think relationships are hard work, that you've been hurt a lot before, and it becomes a burden, and then, then it ends, and then everybody... In everybody gets hurt right the Sun is here and so I feel like it's a realization that you're having now I think that you need to prepare to either talk to this person or walk away because the six of the six of um, swords is here it's time for you to go from the chaos of the mind to the calm you need to make some sort of decision and you don't need to make it now like you don't but I, I think that what we're talking about here is that you're trying to make a decision to be very vulnerable with someone that you know is a soulmate. And this person, I feel, is going to want you to be with them to an exclusion of everybody else. And for you, um, you know, all these aces mean new beginnings. And you can have any new beginning that you want. You can talk about it. You can plant a pentacle, excitement, love. All of it's here. But you need to make a decision within yourself first if you're going to um, stand the test of time with this person or if you think it's going to get very redundant in the reciprocity like you I feel like your worst fear is that there's going to be no more fire that the fire is going to go out so I think right now you're standing your ground on this and you haven't made a decision yet um, because you feel like it's and, and the thing is is not making a decision is burdensome but you feel like if you do make a decision and drop those burdens that next comes the ten of swords that you could end up being betrayed or hurt and maybe this is from past energy this is based on things that went on in the past it's really not fair to take whatever crap went on back there and place it on the person that um, has feelings for you in the present right um, we do have Scorpio Taurus Aquarius Leo uh, Scorpio Pisces Cancer Libra Gemini Aquarius and um, more Aquarius energy so I feel like you need to go over more details right Aquarius energy is about knowing everything about the situation before you get involved and that's the King of Swords and I think that's why the King of Swords shows up because um, it feels like you really need to have some solid answers before you're going to be able to move forward here all right tell me about Virgo tell me about the single Virgo for the weekend please sneak peek for single Virgo Virgo if you're interested in a private read you know what to do look above the uh, comments there it's a pinned comment 10% off of all of my readings till the end of the month all right tell me about Virgo please sneak peek for the single Virgo tell me about Virgo tell me about Virgo Virgo we have the world card why is that we have the lovers four wands wow <laughs> okay and the emperor i think you're making some sort of a really big decision here this week i feel like you're closing the chapter an old chapter on something here the world card is telling me that this is an accomplish accomplishment or a milestone that you finally come to a place where you've decided that you're never going to be the way you were back there i feel like it's changed it's telling me that you've changed you've made a promise to yourself that you're going to change going forward the next person that you pick is going to be someone that you're going to um, commit to um, or someone that you're you're ready to be really serious but i feel like you're only ready to be really serious with someone who you feel is a soulmate or someone that you feel has been picked for you it feels like with the world card here that being the first card out it feels like whatever was back there i feel like you've decided to close the chapter on that and move forward here you are looking for um, a deep soulmate connection and i feel like you have a lot to offer you're showing up here is the emperor energy here virgo i feel like you have a lot to offer i feel like you are somebody who is going to step forward the person who is going to pursue i feel like you're on the pursuit for some sort of a loving um connected deeply connected relationship here i feel like you're ready because i feel like you're balanced you're secure i feel like your money's in place you're i feel like you're emotionally aware emotionally intelligent you're you're ready to find somebody who is going to um, be the same for you the eight of swords the five of swords the knight of cups the tower and uh, the nine of cups we've got the six of swords in the distance 
So I think that the reason that you closed an old chapter is because I feel like the person that you were with back there, you had fundamental differences with them. Uh, like you just couldn't agree on things, right? And so anything, anytime that you're in a relationship with someone and everything that you talk about ends up in a fight, you know that's not your person, right? If you can't have a general debate or a general conversation about things that are really important or sensitive without having conflicts or disagreements, you know that that's not your person. I feel like you stayed in a relationship like that for a really long time back there. And I feel like you've now decided to close the door on that. You're not going to, if, if a person comes to you with battles and, you know, arguments and telling you that you must believe the way they believe, all that kind of stuff, you're, you're on your, you're, you're out, I feel. So I want to say that the realization is, is that you do have feelings for somebody here. It, the, the tower is here and it is a shift of energy, right? It's a shift and an upheaval. And I feel like it's in the way that you feel. It's right next to the knight and the nine of cups. So it's a realization that you do want to be happy. You do want ultimate happiness. You want the wish fulfillment. You want the romantic relationship, but it must be with somebody who you're really very connected to. Otherwise you're out. And that's the way you need to play it. Look, we, just because we start dating somebody, we can, we have, we have this, um, right <laughs> to say you know what maybe we're just not compatible like people think that once they get into a relationship that all of a sudden they have to believe everything that the other person believes or they're going to leave me and that is codependency right so it feels like you're not codependent virgo i want to say and you're you're not interested in anybody who's codependent i think though you've had a realization that you want to settle down you want to get one person you would rather support one person build a life with one person right the emperor is here uh, rule the empire with one person but I feel like this person is somebody who needs to be someone who is, um, I'm not going to say they have to be agreeable. Like, I don't think you're looking for someone who's a yes ma'am or a yes man. I don't think you're looking for that. Well, I think what you're looking for is someone who is ready to settle down with you, get some stability, keep, keep the fire because this is Aries, right? And we've got fire right next door. I feel like you just want to find somebody who you're deeply, soulfully connected to. And I think it's a realization because I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's been single for a while because I feel like whatever shit show went on back here is something that you don't want to involve yourself in ever again. We've got the Three of Swords, we've got the Two of Swords, and we've got the Five of Wands, all sort of negative energies, right? The Three of Swords tells me that first you must heal the heart. You must decide what you want first, right? The Three of Swords is I don't want to be in, be put in a position where I'm feeling depressed or sad or um, feeling like my heart is broken. I don't want to be put in that situation before. Once I heal my heart, I'm going to be very careful about who I give it to. The Two of Swords is here. So I'm going to protect myself and I'm going to release anybody, the full moon. I'm going to release anyone who I can't feel energy from because this person has got their eyes covered, right? They're covering their heart. They've got their eyes covered. And I feel like they do that because they want to feel the situation because they don't believe what they see. So I feel like it's, um, it's a little bit of faith that you have to go by here. Um, I feel like you are holding back that maybe this weekend isn't the weekend that you will, um, you know, embark on this journey of looking for someone who who feels and looks like you. I think that you do want a long-term relationship here. And um, there's the Page of Wands here, the King of Cups. Yeah, you. I feel like you have criteria now. Maybe you didn't before, but I feel like you're holding back until your criteria is fulfilled. And so somebody who's emotionally available, somebody who is emotionally intelligent, someone who can love you deeply, but yet someone who's young and playful and fun and ready for, for fire and sparks and, and all of that stuff. You require those things in a long-term relationship. Tell me why the tower's here, please. We've got the Two of Wands, we've got the Ace of Swords, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like the, the Tower is here because the realization comes with also preparation. The Tower, it's like a realization that I need to prepare to find somebody new, some find somebody who is romantically interested, somebody who's also interested in wish fulfillment. But it's going to have to start with words, a lot of words. <laughs> and, you know, it's not going to start in fire. I don't think it's going to start in fire. So maybe, maybe that's what you're abandoning back here, that you're no longer going to be starting relationships in fire, like fire right up front. I feel like the Ace of Swords is telling me it's got to be conversation. You have to be intelligent. You have to be, you have to have your own ideas. You have to be able to stimulate my mind. And then I will put in the hard work because it's not going to be worth the hard work if, if I can't 
um, speak with you. I think you're prepared to find someone who's highly intelligent like you. And uh, I feel that you will find that person because the tower is here. We do have the Hierophant. We have the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups. I feel like you're being really careful. Like you're going to keep people at arm's length. You're going to date people, I think, in, in the search of a commitment. And I feel like what you've learned... Uh, so far, because the Hierophant is here, the, the lesson that's been learned is I can keep people at arm's length. I don't have to go all in, all at once. Look, I know it's hard for you. You're a giver. You're a person who is a, a, a giver. You like to give people service. You're always in the service of other people. But I feel like you're going to hold it back for just a little bit. The Ace of Cups is like, I'm not going to go all in until I know what's going on here with the Ace of Swords, until we can talk about it and prepare for what we're going to work on, because this is my criteria. And if I don't get it, I'm not going to do it. And I think that that is a great plan. I think it's a really great plan. So we do have um, uh, Scorpio here. We have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We have um, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We have Justice on the bottom of the deck and Six of Swords. And that was just what I said. You're going to be justified moving on if this person can't give you what you want in terms of swords. If they can't keep up to you mentally, then they just don't deserve you to have you um, in fire, have you in a relationship, right? In love or in fire. Um, this person's going to have to keep up with you mentally first. I think it's a great place to start. Tell me about Libra. Tell me about the single Libra, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Libra, if you're interested in a private read, please look below this video. Comment section, there's a pinned note um, that will give you all the information you need for 10% off of a private read. Tell me about Libra. Sneak peek for Libra, please. Sneak peek for Libra. We do have the Four of Pentacles. So why does the weekend see you as being shut down, shut off here? What's going on here, Libra? We have the uh, the Empress here. Tell me more. We have the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords. So you're scared behind the fear wall, overthinking everything about the Empress or about your abundance. Take it as it resonates. I want to say that all the energy that's surrounding the Empress here, maybe you could be the Empress, Taurus and Libra, or maybe you're thinking about an Empress, right? Feminine or masculine. Take it as it resonates for you. But it feels like you're shut off and shut down. You're being miserly with your time or your money or your energy with the Empress here. And it feels like you're up in your head, like you're behind the fear wall here, or you feel like the Empress is behind the fear wall. Uh, regardless Regardless, it feels like somebody here is exhausted and it could be the empress that's exhausted with dealing with thinking about this whole thing obsessively somebody is shut off and shut down and not sharing their energy with anyone here and um, all they do is spend their time and worry look somebody needs a hobby you need to get out of the house and do something other than sitting there thinking about ways um, about about the Empress. Like maybe you are the Empress thinking about these things. And if you are the Empress, this isn't really a great mindset for you to be in. You're worried. You're in your head. You're not talking to people. You're obsessively thinking about how exhausted you are. And it feels like you are shut off, shut down. You're not sharing yourself with anybody. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, please. That's no way to get, to get a date. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> we got the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? We've got the Six of Pentacles, four, five, six. We've got uh, the King of Pentacles. Okay, so I, I feel like we have, um, I feel like this is a temporary place, I wanna say, because we have four, five, six Pentacles. You go from being shut off and shut down to feeling like, well, I'm on the outside looking in. How do I reconnect to people? I feel like you need to give reciprocity, which means you're gonna need to get out in amongst people. You're gonna have to get out into the 3D world if you want reciprocity. Find a, a situation where you can meet new people and um, a singles group, or maybe you're going to join a team of some sort. Like, that's the only way to meet new people is to get out in the pentacle world. I want to say that you're a person who's probably, your finances are good. I want to say that you're, you, you are looking... Uh, to settle down with somebody because the king of pentacles is just that i'm looking to provide for somebody settle down with somebody or to grow 
you know, grow a pentacle life with somebody. And you're not going to be able to do that being in this energy here. It feels like um, I am speaking to someone who probably is the empress, feminine or masculine. It feels like you're in a lot of negative mind space right now. And the only way to get out of that negative mind space is to create endorphins. You need to get out and, and go for a walk or you need to get out amongst people, go to a movie and laugh. Like you need to get out amongst people where they are here. I feel like you, you feel as though you're going to be to like alone forever that's what it feels like a realization of the nine of pentacles like you think you're going to be alone forever but look if you don't take if you don't use the tools that have been given to you because we all have them every single person on the earth is the magician we all have the ability to bring things from the dream state into life and if you don't realize you have the tools you can't use the tools and if you don't use the tools you're not going to be able to find anybody but it is going to take this energy of the magician it's going to take some magic i think in order for you to be able to find the person that you want i feel like you think you're never going to find it and the truth is if that's your thought pattern you're right when you say to the universe i'm never going to find that the universe says okay all right you'll never find that and um so i feel like it's it's going to have to be a change of mind my friend you need to get out of this nine of swords you need to use this magician energy like the nine of swords the magician carries one sword that is you know for opening new paths but this one sword i feel if you add it to the nine brings you to the ten i think that you're trying to avoid some sort of feelings of betrayal like you're holding them back you're stuck in a pattern and you're holding yourself back because you don't want to feel betrayed but listen once you get to the end that's the release you can release all these bad thoughts bad feelings it's the release so you really need to realize that you are the magician that you can you can literally end this cycle of feeling badly and being stuck in this cycle. You can end it whenever you want to. I just don't think that you know that you can. That on the other side of everything that is fearful or things that you can't see is the Ten of Cups. But you're going to have to make some sort of a decision to uh, get out into... Um, into the public to find a person, right? You can't just uh, sit at home, right? All these pentacles. You can't just sit at home waiting and hoping that someone's going to break in to date you. You probably don't want to date someone that breaks in anyway. <laughs> Tell me what is uh, coming up. Um, what does Libra have to do in order to meet their person? I've got the four of cups. I've got more fours. <laughs> four of uh, swords and we've got the queen of wands so I feel like for you it's balance I feel like you need to get balance in your emotions you need to get stability in the emotions stability of the mind first and then it's time for you to take a step forward the queen of wands is here the queen of wands nothing's going to stop her from getting what she wants right she's kind of the badass i feel like you're you need to clean yourself up look really good do a glow up get a new hair did right get your nails done buy a new suit whatever it is buy some new clothes and get out there and meet people that's the only way that you're going to find anybody because right now you're in this uh, redundant energy here and i feel like you've been there for a while look we got four 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 we've got lots of fours here so you're not you're stable like you're like it feels like you're in a comfort zone you're stable in a comfort zone you're like well as long as i never leave the house no one's going to make me sad well as long as i never leave the house no one's going to argue with me like if all of those things are true absolutely and what you don't see is that if you don't pick up the sword to end the cycle that you're in i feel like you can't have this ten of cups that's on the other side of the moon energy look it's there it's there. You will meet a soulmate, I feel. But these are all decisions that you have to make in the pentacle world. Eventually, you got to come to a breakthrough that sitting around and being at home and not doing anything or, you know, like, well, I'm not just sitting around at home. I'm remodeling my house or I'm not just sitting around at home. I'm working on my car or whatever it is. Well, you're not meeting people when, while you're doing that. All those things are great and wonderful, but you're not... Um, you're not meeting people. I feel like you're a person who has who hides behind your finances or you hide behind things that you have, a house, a car. Uh, maybe you like to travel. Like I feel like you hide behind nice nice outfits and suits because that's Libra, right? Libra's always looking good when they go out. I feel like it's time to make a change of some sort. You need to make a change if you expect that there is going to be a love uh, situation show up for you. And look, all things are indicating, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Four of Wands. All things are indicating that it's all here waiting for the taking. You just have to realize you're the magician and use the tools that were given to you to get out of this funk. Feels like you're in some sort of a, a funk. You're abundant, but you're in some sort of a funk here. We've got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, Pisces, Cancer. We've got some Aries energy. We've got uh, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Libra and Taurus. All right, Scorpio. 
Tell me about my beautiful Scorpios, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about these beautiful Scorpios, please. The single Scorpio, sneak peek for the weekend. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Scorpio, if you are interested in a private read, please look at the pinned comment. 10% uh, off my reads. Look at the pinned comment above all the comments. Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio, please. We do have the uh, Seven of Cups. Something is confusing or overwhelming here. You have a lot of opportunities coming up, and I feel like it's going to be a little bit overwhelming here. We've got the Three of Pentacles. You might be meeting, um, I feel like you might be meeting a new a new group. Maybe you're in a, in a new um, community. It feels like you're meeting new people, or you will be this weekend. You might be invited somewhere to meet someone and do something, and I think you're going to be meeting a lot of new people, or there'll be a lot of uh, opportunities are going to come to you, whether those are business and networking opportunities or possibly love opportunities. You're so looking at the Seven of Cups, right? But either way, I feel like you're going to be a hot commodity, <laughs> and it feels like um, everybody's going to want your attention, and I feel like that's a little bit burdensome for you here. The thing is, is I feel like you are looking for some sort of a, a really balanced, um, um, soulful, deep connection with somebody that possibly you can um, travel through the rest of your life with. The, the possibilities are infinite, I want to say. The possibilities are infinite because, look, the Seven of Cups is here, which means you're going to have a lot of opportunities to meet people um, and uh, who are also looking for other people who are um, having opportunities of the heart space. And so it feels like I want to tell you with the Three of Pentacles that this is someone who's going to feel like a friend, first of all. I feel like you are going to meet somebody here in a group of people, in a new community, somebody who's got your back, who's ready to collaborate or cooperate. It could be a business thing. It could start out at work, obviously. Like with the Three of Pentacles here, it could start out at work. It could start out at a meeting in a in a community or a group of people. Um, I feel like you're not the person who really wants to, you know, jump in to um, some sort of a big gathering here. But I feel like with the Nine of Wands, it tells me, like, why would I do that to myself? Like, I'm exhausted already. Why would I put myself in a situation where everybody could suck the energy from me? Well, I feel like it's like, it's because you're you're looking for something solid. You're looking for a solid partner, maybe a solid relationship here. We do have um, the Two of Pentacles, which tells me that you're like, eh, I don't know, should I? Is this really what I want? You're trying to make a decision. You're kind of up and down, back and forth. It feels like you do need to make a decision or you want to make a decision. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. We have the Two of Wands, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Lovers, the Ten of um, the Ten of Cups and the Death card. So something has to change here. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like if you're if you're not willing to go into public places, not willing to go into networking places, places where there's other people, communities of people, that it's really hard to meet somebody. I feel like you need to prepare to be overwhelmed, to go into a group of people, to see if you can find anybody who matches whatever it is that you want. Look, I feel like you're really confident. I feel like you have a pentacle to offer. I feel like you are... Uh, you're a, a solid and grounded person, someone who's really dependable, someone who's very aware of their pentacles. I feel like you have this ace of pentacles in the air. I feel like you're going to be given a gift from the universe, honestly. If you decide to overcome your fear of being behind this fear wall, if you decide to overcome your fear, fear and you do go into this group of people, I feel like you're going to get an invite or maybe for some of you, you'll just find a group of people. Like, there is a um, an international website called Meetups, right? It's not it's not a dating website, but it's a place where you can find groups of people who are like minded. Maybe you just need to feed find like-minded people. I really do feel that there will be a point at which you will be offering someone, um, you know, someone who you really feel is good for you, a pentacle. It looks like it looks like if you make the decision to go forward. Um, and be confident about that decision. Come out from behind the fear wall. I feel like it works out really well for you. We've got the lovers, the ten of cups, and the death card. Something's got to change if you want to be in this ultimate happiness here with the lovers. I feel like with the, the lovers, the ace of pentacles, and the ten of cups, it's all yours if you want it. You just have got to want it. The universe is ready to give it to you. It's a gift. Yeah, you just have to reach out and take it is all. But there has to, you have to make a change. You have to stop sort of going back and forth. Should I? Shouldn't I? I know I'm really I'm really busy. Maybe you hide behind the I'm 
you know, work keeps me really busy. But I feel it also keeps you very disconnected. And if you want to meet somebody, I feel like it's time that you get out there so you can um, feel more connected to people. We've got uh, the Four of Swords, we've got the Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. So uh, I feel like it's it's time for you to... Yeah. You know, it feels it almost feels like you're, you're trying to heal from from something here you're trying to get stability of the mind first you're not really down for conversation we have the ace of ace of swords that's on the bottom uh, it's on the floor here i feel like you are i feel that you feel that when you go out to meet people that it's ultimately just going to end up in you getting hurt i feel like you do have childlike curiosity though like you you're intellectually sharp Yeah, I think you're ready for the challenge, though. But just make sure you're in the right state of mind. And don't do anything you don't want to do. Because if you go somewhere you don't want to go, it'll probably come off as, I don't want to be there. But look, I feel like if you get invited out somewhere to a community thing or in a group of people, or maybe it's a work conference or whatever it is, if you get invited to go somewhere, please go there. Because I feel like there there is somebody that you might meet there. Like when you meet people face to face, you just never know who you might meet. It feels like there is, you've got to change what you're doing like you can't just always do what you've always done or you're just going to get what you've always got you've got to make a change at some point the empress and the wheel of fortune are out there the this huge abundance is yours like this this empress energy here you're about to meet somebody who's quite special somebody who really doesn't who doesn't need you, who's the whole person. The Wheel of Fortune is here, which tells me that when you decide to change, the Wheel of Fortune, the universe hears you and says, okay, it's time then, let's do it. I feel like things go really good for you going forward into the future. But I also feel that you have your fears. You have your apprehensions. I feel like you're, you're, you're in doubt that things are ever going to work out for you. And I tell you that when the universe, when you tell the universe, well, that's not working out for me, the universe says, okay, well, it's not working out for you then. Like, they're not going to argue with you. I'm not going to try and convince you of your worth. You have to know your worth before you move forward. Tell me what's going to be coming up here for Scorpio, please. I've got the Five of Swords. I've got the Temperance card. And we've got the Knight of Swords. So I do feel that you are going to get some sort of an invitation. I feel like somebody wants to talk to you and say, look, it's now or never. Are you coming out with us or not? Because there's a whole bunch of people that are all like-minded, people who like the things you like, people who are on your team, who have your back, people who are ready to collaborate. Do you want to come with us or not? And I feel like you fight with yourself. <laughs> I feel like you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm really into it. So you will or you won't. I mean, take it as it resonates for you. The Wheel of Fortune is waiting here with the Empress. This could be a person. This could be abundance. Take it as it resonates for you. But I feel like if you can get past this Four of Swords, if you can get past this feeling of it's just going to end up in, in trouble and fighting and arguing, I feel like you will go to this thing where you will meet somebody new. They could be a Capricorn, Libra, um, a Taurus possibly, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, um, Gemini maybe. We've got um, Gemini. We've got fire as well right aries sagittarius leo so i feel like i feel like you will meet somebody if you are invited out i feel like you will meet somebody this week and <laughs> it says here that you feel like love is chaos right because we have the lovers here and um this six of swords is about going from the chaos to the calm so i feel like you you feel as though you maybe just gotten out of a relationship possibly we do have the page of wands you're ready for a new path but you're gonna have to get up and go you're gonna have to prepare get your stability about you because i feel like something really beautiful is coming up but the universe isn't going to land it in your lap you're going to have to be the person who moves forward scorpio to find out what it is that you want you're going to have to take the invitations that are offered to you all right sagittarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter tell me about single saggies please Tell me about single Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sagittarius, if you're interested in a private read, please know that there is a note pinned to the top of the comments. Everything you need is there to get 10% off a private read if you're interested. Tell me about Sag, please. Tell me what's coming up for Sag on the weekend. Sneak peek for the single Sag. I've got the Six of Cups. Why is that? got the page of cups 
Wow. Sag, you're about to meet somebody new. That's very cool. So I want to say the Six of Cups is here, right? I feel like you know intuitively, Scorpio, right? Scorpio energy. I feel like you know intuitively that there... There is somebody here who is who is new. I think it's a new connection for you, Sag, but they are an emperor. They are somebody who's quite accomplished in their life already, so they're probably um, of age, I'm going to say. They're probably a little bit older in their life, right? Emperors can become emperors very young, but it's usually like probably about 40s in their 40s, kind of. Um, so anything up from there. I feel like this emperor here is somebody who's very, who's very wealthy. This person is very established in their life and probably is an entrepreneur, has their own businesses. They don't answer to anybody. They are the top dog. I feel like this is a new um, emotional connection that you will have here. We do have the seven of pentacles here, which tells me slow it be patient be be patient with the emperor let the emperor take take um the forward step right the emperor is the masculine leaning energy also as feminine energy but predominantly masculine which means this person is going to be the pursuer so allow this person to pursue you sag i feel like this is a new connection for you and i feel like you need to be patient that this person is going to put in the hard work i feel like you need to be patient you need to wait to see what is going to bloom here Tell me what else Sag needs to know. I feel like this person is going to be someone that you feel like you've known for all of your life. They could be an Aries. They could be a Scorpio. Maybe a Taurus. Tell me more. We have the Five of Pentacles. Why is that? We have the Empress. Ah, there we go. Your divine counterpart is here. I kind of like that for you. Your divine counterpart is here, um, and uh, you, I, I think you're showing up as the Empress. Um, we do have the Five of Pentacles. I want to say that you are, um, you've kind of shut yourself off to the Knight of Wands. I want to say that you're not taking, um, you're not taking invitations to be in any kind of a situationship that you've you've decided that you know your worth that you do have worth and anybody who's just going to use you in a situationship is not for you i feel like when you meet this person when you meet the emperor i feel like it's pure fire and i feel like it's going to freak you out just a little bit because you've already shut yourself off to somebody who is going to act as the knight of wands but understand that this is the king of wands so you might be uh, you might be sensing their fire, but it is a little bit more of a responsible fire because we're talking about kings and not knights, right? The king of wands is the emperor energy. So we do have the um, eight of cups in the reverse and the strength. I feel like you need to have the courage to take one more try, <laughs> one more shot at it. I want to say that the eight of cups tells me that um, after being very disconnected from dating, from emotions, from showing your emotions, that it's time for you to find some courage and it does courage doesn't mean that you're not you're just gonna one day wake up and not be scared anymore you know strength and courage come by doing things that you are afraid of that do make you nervous that do give you anxiety but i want to say that it's going to pay off we do have the ten of pentacles in the in the in the in the distance here in the future right so it does feel like um i feel like you're about to meet some sort of person who can't take their eyes off you someone who you can't take your eyes off of this is a new connection and i feel like you go from being from being on the outside of life looking in to some sort of really cool spicy connection <laughs> that's what it looks like here we've got the four of swords we've got the devil energy yeah, I was just saying, it's going to freak you out. This person is giving you reciprocity immediately. Look, the emperor can sense the empress. The empress can sense the emperor because their energies balance each other. Feminine leaning, masculine leaning. That makes a whole a whole balance of people, right? So it doesn't matter what what this is. It doesn't matter what the body is, right? It, what matters is the energetic balance. And if two people, whether they are of the same sex or not, the energy still must be balanced. One has to have masculine, one must have feminine, and that's how the energy is balanced. So I want to say that when you meet this person, it's going to freak you out just a little bit because I think you're immediately, um, immediately attracted to them. You feel an immediate connection, um, an immediate desire, and you're like, uh-oh, this is going to be another situation ship. Like it feels like you you sort of go back and forth in your head, right? The Eight of Cups to me is the boomerang. It's like disconnecting it mentally and then coming back again. You're like, or disconnecting emotionally and then coming back again. It's like you're trying to find the courage to believe that the Emperor or the Empress is, is the right connection. 
I want to say that when you meet this person, this person immediately sort of dotes on you. Like it's uh, the person who would, you know, scoot in front of you to open the door or can I get you a drink or um, like it feels like somebody's very attentive with you. I want to say that this freaks you out just a little bit and, um, you know, it's um, it makes you a little bit nervous, but I feel like you need to get stability of the mind and figure out what it is that you want. I feel like this devil energy is what you're used to. You're used to um, feeling caged. You're used to being in uh, an energy with someone who's obsessive or codependent or who can't leave you alone or that's not this person. <laughs> the Emperor and the Empress, they are not codependent. They have their own shit to do. This person runs a business. This person probably runs a business. Like they they are whole people without another person in their lives. And so I think that's why this is, the, they're such a perfect match. Tell me more about Sag. Yeah, this is a romantic connection, my friend, but it's going to put you in a place of the hanged man energy. You're going to be searching through your intuition, trying to figure out what do I do? Do I surrender to the universe? Did the universe send this person? Like, it feels like you're up in your head. Sh I'm going to, should I give them reciprocity? Like, it feels like you're kind of up in your head. Like, it's like you, you, um, you don't believe that it's true. We've got the nine of wands. We've got the three of coins and we've got the fool. This thing's going to move slow. It is going to move slow. This person wants to get to know you first. This is not a hit it and quit it situation. This is somebody who really is looking for a truthful new beginning with someone. They are someone who is the wounded warrior. And I think you both are, by the way. I think both of you have been through a lot of crap. And that's probably why you have all of this, this energy of, uh, I don't know, maybe should I? Shouldn't I? I'll think about it. Yeah, I do have feelings. Uh, this person's going to give me reciprocity. But are, is it going to turn toxic like all the other stuff? So like all the other connections I've been in. I feel like it's going to freak you out, but this person I feel is old school, I want to say, that they're the person who opens doors, picks you up, pays for the Uber, you know, takes you out, because they, you know, the Empress is beautiful, wants you on their arm. Um, the Emperor is beautiful as well, right? Tell me what's going to come of this uh, Sagittarius. What's going to come of this for Sagittarius? We do have the High Priestess. We have the two of coins. You're going to make a, a decision to get into a relationship with this person. Yeah, uh, you're going to make a decision between the two of cups and the two of coins. Decision in love, decision in the in the pentacle world. So face to face, right? I feel like um, I feel like it's going to go slow though. I want to say that this connection, once you you two realize that you are connected that way, that you do have this passion, there is desire, you're very attracted, all of those things. Now we get into the three of pentacles and that's where the hard work starts. That's the partnership. Now we get to know each other. Let's move slow, solid, sturdy, grounded. Are you on my team? Are you not on my team, right? Are, are we, can we be in the same community? Will I like your friends? Will you like my friends? I really feel like this is something, the beginning of something really beautiful, of someone who's very capable. And remember that when the empress is here and the emperor is here, all the queens are here, all the kings are here. You know, because so pretty much everything is represented in terms of signs. I feel like you are going to use your intuition to make this decision. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. It came back. This is a long-term relationship, my friend. Um, and it's coming quick. Knight of Swords is here. It's coming in kind of aggressively, my friend. All right. Good luck for you. So we do have, um, we do have uh, Aries, uh, Gemini. We have uh, Pisces energy, Capricorn. We have um, Leo. We have uh, fire, so Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We've got Libra and Taurus, and we've got more Aries. All right. All right, Capricorn, this is for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your sneak peek for the weekend, Capricorn. Single Capricorns, please. Tell me about the single Capricorns. What does Capricorn need to know? Capricorn, if you're interested in a private read, there's a 10% off sale. Everything you need to know is pinned in a comment above the comments below this video. Tell me about Capricorn, please. Tell me about Capricorn. Oh, we're just starting like that, are we? Just right there. We got the Two of Cups. Why do we have the Two of Cups here, please? We've got the Knight of Wands. The Seven of Wands. Nine of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So I want to say that there is, um, you might actually even, even be experiencing this right now. Like it feels like with the Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups, it feels like you might even be experiencing this right now, that you might already have some sort of connection with somebody that you're very attracted to. I want to say that you don't really trust them. 
Um, so you're keeping them at arm's length, it feels like. You're keeping your boundaries high. You're you're keeping them sort of, yeah, at arm's length, I want to say. But the, knight, the Seven of Wands and the Knight carries one, that's eight. There's a lot of back and forth communication. Now, if this hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen over the weekend. For some of you, not all of you, because we're not all in the same timelines, right? Um, but it feels like you're keeping somebody at arm's length, even though it feels like happiness. You're scared that somebody is going to put you on the outside looking in. That it feels like... Um, that this person is giving you like a lot of attention. Be careful it's not a love bomb is all I'm going to say with the six of wands here because it's like they're giving you a lot of attention and they're constantly texting you and I think you like it. I feel like you think that this is a good... Um, this is a good uh, connection, but what I'm worried about here is the Two of Cups and the uh, Knight of Wands. So unless you want that, to me that says it could be, it could end up in a situationship. And 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 although it could, um, I feel like you're you're the boss of that, right? So I think think that's why you're in the Seven of Wands. You're keeping this thing, this person at arm's length because you're not interested in a situationship. What you're interested in is the Nine of Cups. You're interested in emotional happiness, right? Not fire. You don't want to start this thing in fire because, and I feel like that's what keeps you safe because there's so many look there are so many carbon copies of people out there who are just looking for fire they just looking to use you and so I feel like you know that already and so the five of pentacles tells me that you are living in a bit of scarcity because what you want someone to lead with is emotional stuff you want them to lead with emotional happiness um, can't you make me my heart sing right instead of us just being attracted to each other because just because we're attracted to each other doesn't mean we're compatible and you know that, but I feel like you're worried that this is going to turn into a situation ship, but it only will if you allow it, right? And you, you're not allowed to blame it on somebody else because you have full and total control as to who you let in your life. So if you don't want it to be a situation ship, it won't be. Tell me more about this. We've got the uh, Page of Pentacles. We've got the Emperor. We've got the Judgment, King of Wands, and the World card. Interesting. So a new opportunity with the Emperor here. I feel like the Emperor wants to meet face to face. Look, the Emperor would. The Emperor is not scared. The Emperor is not the person who's going to hide behind texts. This person is not the one who's going to try and date you in texts and then come over to your house and eat food and watch TV. That's not this. This person wants to take you out. This person wants to show you off. This person is somebody who is who is grown up. They don't play reindeer games. Do you know what I mean? They're not the person who's into the hit it and quit it. They are a person who's responsible, upright. And it's not like the emperor doesn't have fire. The emperor does have fire, but understand he's all the kings. And he's learned all of his lessons. He's grown up. So this person is a conqueror still. They want what they want. But understand that the emperor never goes in if they know they're going to lose. The emperor, that's not something that the emperor does. That's how they've become the emperor. That's how they become the ruler of the empire because they don't lose. They are really good at their assessment. And so I feel like this person's going to want to meet you face to face in order to make a judgment or a decision about whether or not they want to carry on in some sort of a, a passionate connection here. So the, the king of wands is the emperor. The world card is here. I feel like this person is probably going to assure you, look, that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here just for passion. I feel like because this person comes in sort of pursuing you, uh, very good looking, uh, very sexy, maybe they make compliments about you being very sexy, that you think that this person just wants a situationship. I don't think that's the truth. I feel like there's too much balance within the emperor for them to just get into something that's shallow. And it's not above the emperor to, to get into a situationship. I'm not saying that. The emperor can get into a situationship, but why would they risk the empire like, think about all of, if you've ever watched a medieval movie, the emperor, whenever they get into multiple relationships, even though they're married, it never works out good for them. Ever, ever, ever. Karma comes knocking. So I want to say that um, I feel like the emperor has um, closed their chapter of situationships. This person is not interested in getting into a situationship. They are interested in meeting someone who might be for the long haul. And that's why the judgment card is here. This person is going to want to meet you face to face out somewhere, take you out, and um, going to want to talk to you. Really figure out what's going on in your head. What is it that you want? So I feel like this person is not coming in for the passion, the King of Wands and the World card. This person is, yeah, it's a realization that this person is actually here is the real deal. That's what it looks like. Wow, look at that energy. <laughs> the Tower, the Lovers and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Look at that, Capricorn. I think you're going about this the right way. I feel like you keep anybody at arm's length who wants a situationship because you're just never, you're just always going to be into situationships. If that's, you know, if, if you don't know your worth, you don't know your worth and that's it. But I think you do. 
I think you do know your worth. I feel like what you're going to realize is that this person is the real deal. They are not here just for a situationship. The tower is the realization that this person is here to find their person, to find the person whose eyes they're going to look into for the rest of time. This is something I feel has, has a big change has come over the emperor. Is like they know that I have to be in and I got to be all in. Yeah, the world and the tower. That it's a realization that I got to stop being in these situationships because it's not going to work out for me. I think that Capricorn, when you meet this person, I think think that you're the person that they are deciding, you know what, I'm just going to get to know Capricorn and I'm going to go slow. I'm going to do that. We're going to do it face to face. We're not going to go through all these reindeer games in the, in the texting bullshit, right? I feel like this person is like really, really on to you. Like I think, I feel like they want to give you a lot of attention. I feel like, um, they're, they're not interested in anything superficial. They're not interested, if this is not going to go past um, a certain stage, if this person, if it's not going to go past the Page of Pentacles, I feel like they're not going to put any energy into it. I feel like they're looking for change. They're looking for, you know, it's like a, a divine moment. All of this here tells me it's a divine moment. When you meet this person, I feel like they are your person. And this person here, I feel, is with the with the strength here, it feels like somebody is going to have the courage to say, give you a lot of attention, but then say, you know, once we meet face to face, if, if we're not jiving, we're not jiving. I'm not putting any energy into it. And that's the emperor. They can be kind of callous. They're like, I need to meet you face to face. Feel your energy. If I like you, we'll carry on. And if we don't, say la vie. See you later. <laughs> All right. So I think you're unsure. I think you're going to I think you're going to uh, feel this person out before you make a decision. We have the Ace of Wands. Look, it, it is it is a new path to passion, but it also comes with romance. This person, I feel like it's not an instant I'm falling in love with you thing, but it is an instant connection through romance and passion. So you're attracted to each other and there is also romantic feelings here. Very cool. Very very cool. We have um, Cancer, Pisces energy. We've got Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, more Scorpio. Uh, we've got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, uh, Pisces energy. The Emperor is Aries. Um, we have uh, Leo energy here. Yeah, a couple of uh, Leo cards here. All right, all right. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about the single Aquarius, please. Tell you about the sneak peek for the single Aquarius. What is going on for Aquarius coming up? Sneak peek for the weekend for Aquarius. Aquarius, if you're interested in a private read, then uh, please look at the top of the comments there. 10% off until the end of the month. You'll find all the information you need there. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius. The moon rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Aquarius. We've got the King of Pentacles. Interesting. Why are we starting out with the King of Pentacles? We've got the Nine of Cups. Aquarius, your money is about to um, is about to get better here. The ships that are coming in is the Nine of Cups and the King of Pentacles. You're about to have some absolute happiness in your pentacle world. So whether that has to do with your home, your car, your children, your job, or money in general, I feel like your business is about to explode. You're about to get some sort of a payout that is going to make you completely happy. Um, <clears throat> and the Three of Wands tells me that you've been waiting on this. So it is something that you already know about, something that you've been waiting on. I'm not saying that you, uh, if you, if you've not been waiting on this, if you're, I'm not telling you you're winning the lottery. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. But I feel like this is something you've been waiting on. You've been expecting it. So you've worked for it already, possibly. And now you're waiting for payment. Uh, you may have, um, something that's going on within your business. You've done the work, now you're just waiting for payment. But I feel like uh, wish fulfillment in finances, stability, all of that stuff is about to show up for you here. Uh, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. You've waited a really long time for it. In fact, a very long time. I feel like with the Four of Cups, it's telling me that you, you've been ignoring all everything else waiting for this particular payout. It does feel like it could be taking years for it to come in for you. We do have the Emperor. I like it. You are the business owner. We do have the Two of Wands. What are you preparing for? We've got the Two of Cups. Oh, very interesting. We've got the Page of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Swords. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Eight of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. So I want to say that this Emperor here, it feels like uh, this Emperor is uh, looking to... Um, 
is preparing for love. It looks like somebody is about to make a decision to go to the um, to go to the crossroads. Um, I feel like you're already at the crossroads. By the way, by the way, um, you could be the emperor. Take it as it resonates for you. The emperor is the king of swords, who is Aquarius, right? And uh, the uh, I feel like this emperor here is somebody who's making a really um, a stable decision. I feel like it's strategic. Uh, this emperor is holding on to a to a a pawn, right? Um, I feel like it's it's very strategic and you are preparing for um, it feels like you want to look for a love connection but I feel like you're not going to find that person on the apps I feel like you're not going to find them on the apps because the page of Pentacles is here you need to get out and find that person you're not going to find them by swiping left or right um, the four of, of swords here is telling me that you um, that you are healing from something and it feels like something that other, like it feels like you've been in relationships before where nobody's put in any effort, that you're the person who puts in all of the effort with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. It feels like nobody's putting work in. It's like you meet lazy people, you meet people who are, because you're the emperor, right? You're, you're at, at risk of people uh, trying to get in your life for the things that you own, right? Your house, your car, your money, your bank account. And I feel like your bank account is on point or is going to be pretty soon so i feel like um because you're the emperor that you get a lot of shallow people a lot of shallow hells right you get a lot of people who are just after your pentacle energy and they get really lazy when they get into a relationship with you they want you to buy everything do everything take them on trips because you're the emperor and they end up sleeping on it right they end up getting lazy right four of swords and uh, the eight of pentacles in the reverse so i feel like you want to meet somebody um i feel like you've recently probably disconnected from a, a relationship that was probably headed for victory as though you thought it was um, but you ended up walking away it was time to do so because you know there were better things out there for you with the wheel of fortune here so let's uh, find out what's going on in the future here Tell me about this person that you're going to meet face to face here. This is somebody you will um, that you will have sort of a an emotional or love connection with. Um, if you decide to take an invitation, somebody might be giving you an invitation to go out. Um, but this page of pentacles is what I got my eye on here. It feels like you will be meeting someone face to face. Tell me about the page of pentacles, please. I've got the nine of pentacles. We've got the, the Page of Swords and the Strength card. I really do feel that you'll be meeting someone who's in their pre-empress energy. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. So you will be meeting someone who either is a small business, who's an entrepreneur, somebody who's really stable in their own right. They are very dependable, um, very um, honest and truthful, this person. I want to say that they are somebody who is a student. Maybe they're going to school um, to learn more about their business. Uh, they could tell you that. Or um, this is some somebody that I feel that you're interested in getting to know because Page of Swords is Aquarius energy. It's like I want to get to know everything about this person. And so we do have um, the nine pentacles in one, right? The one pentacle in the nine is interesting because I feel like the emperor really is looking for a true love connection. Somebody who is who can do their own thing, right? That's, that's the best way. Look, if you meet somebody and they got no job, they're not doing anything, they're just sitting around making trouble, then why would you want to get into a relationship? with that thing like that person because the emperor is not doing that the emperor is looking for someone who is solid and grounded who has their own thing who's taking care of their own business because the emperor is busy they got a lot of things to do and this person cannot be codependent with the emperor so i feel like your energy is the emperor feminine or masculine and i feel like you're the person who's been like bossed up you know the lessons you've got all the lessons of all the kings and i feel like you're about to meet somebody who's at the beginning of their entrepreneurship or somebody who's going to school somebody who's already got their you know they're solid and grounded they have their own home they pay their own bills they don't need an emperor to take care of them this person is not shallow um i feel like this person is somebody who's open to learning there's someone who's open to learning they're great with their communication they have a childlike curiosity and they're really great with new ideas they're very intellectual and sharp i want to say and um we do have uh the strength card they're brave this person's very brave they're doing it on their own they're building this all by themselves brick by brick one by one tell me what happens with this connection please i think it's a good one yeah, it does feel like it's a, a decision, a decision that this is a good connection because this person gives me balance. Like they give me balance. And like these two people here, they don't need each other. So they're not like, they're not needy. They're not texting each other every day. You better text me every day and every night. No, like they're, they're like catching up with each other throughout the week to 
to explain to each other what their achievements are. Like they're both achieving something separately so they can come together and talk about their achievements. It really feels like the decision is I've got a breakthrough that this person gives me balance. That's what it feels like. The King of Wands, I feel like I feel like somebody is going to step forward with inspiration and decide that they're going to they're going to meet this person. Once you meet this person, you're going to block everyone else out. You're going to close off every other connection that you were giving reciprocally to anybody who's in the DMs. I feel like this is the serious one. I feel like this is the serious connection there is a brand new connection here that is going to move into some sort of a commitment here and i want to say that the great thing is that we are fun and acting silly and have a lot to talk about and maybe we're impulsive sometimes and maybe we go on midnight drives just to get a coffee just to talk and drive like it feels like fun exciting throw this wand in the air wherever it falls that's where we'll travel to it feels like a really cool um connection i feel like you are about to meet somebody here All right, we got uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, more Leo, more Libra energy, Virgo and Pisces. We've got more Leo. Um, we've got uh, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right. All right, Scorp uh, Scorpio, Pisces. Here we are, my two fishes friend. Pisces, tell me about Pisces, please. Tell me about the sneak peek for this weekend for the single Pisces. Thank you. Just one moment. Someone's at my door. I'm back in just a flash. All right, Pisces. Just like that, we're back. Here we go. Tell me about Pisces, please. Sneak peek for the weekend. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Pisces singles, please. Pisces, if you're interested in a private read, please look below this video. Pinned to the top of the comment section. 10% off on all of my services. Tell me about Pisces. All right. We've got the uh, Four of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. I want to say that there is um, I want to say that there there is somebody here Pisces who wasn't giving you any attention there's somebody here that you were dealing with in the past in the very near past somebody here who is sort of shut down and shut off they weren't really giving you anything it's like they were going head over heart with the situation they're kind of um, stuck in their ways <laughs> i want to say stuck in their ways and i feel like you're the one that has like the childlike curiosity that has like you know you're all about the intellectual stuff that you are all about communicating you're a great communicator or at least you're learning how to communicate and uh you know you're very observant of this person and i feel like this person in the past you realized that they weren't going to give you any stability here so i feel like you're on your way uh, the six of swords is here telling me that it was too chaotic to deal with somebody who can't be in touch with themselves and so i think that you moved forward and i feel like this was sort of a um a good lesson for you because i feel like you you end up sort of building it by yourself you're like you know what i don't need people who are going to be like this with me i need somebody who's going to be open and honest and vulnerable and if they can't be that way then i'm on my way i feel like you came to this realization here that there it's a good time to go i feel like you you dug up more information and thought you know what i'm just not even going to try and crack open this it feels like this is a hard-boiled egg here that you're trying to crack open i'm not even going to do that if this person's not going to give to me freely then i'm not going to bother so we have the six of swords here and the six of swords is telling me that you moved on mentally for sure and i feel like it was something that was it was a lesson for you it was like are you going to stay there and keep knocking on the door or are you going to carry forward and build something in the in the pentacle world by yourself and i feel like you did so it could be a business maybe you got a really good job but i feel like your pentacle world is really on point and it's because you found a group of people we got three pentacles here you found a group of people or a community of people who are on your side who give you who do give you reciprocity right this person back here wasn't but six and three is nine right so i feel like you're you're now confident and sturdy and stable in this new in this new community or you've built something from the ground by yourself i feel like somebody's watching you do that the king of wands here and the king of wands is aries sagittarius leo it could be someone that you've met maybe you've you already know this person that i'm talking of but they are they are someone who deals in fire they always have a plan 
plan on the cooker. This person, they've always got something going here. But I feel like this person is noticing you. I feel like they're watching you. They're noticing you, right? The King of Wands is watching the Nine of Pentacles. They're watching you in your pre empress energy here. And this person is, is um, quite fixated on you, I want to say. So you left somebody in the past who just wasn't giving you what you needed. And I feel like you, because of all this hard work you've done, because of whatever you've built on your own, um, after disconnecting here, I feel like you've got somebody who's watching you now here. We've got the Hermit energy. We've got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. The Two of Cups is in the reverse. We do have the Five of Cups and um, the Eight of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like, um, I feel like you, you really are spending a lot of time by yourself and I feel like that's really a good thing for you. I feel like the hermit energy here tells me that you're you're not really paying attention to what everyone else is doing. You're not really paying attention to what's going on out there. I think you're very focused on your life, on your work, on your money, on building the self up or on becoming wiser. I feel like you're trying to find your light. I feel like you are you really have no concern about what other people are doing. The Queen of Wands in the reverse is telling me that, you know, to the exclusion of everyone else, I'm now inward, paying attention to me, making sure that I've got everything that I need. Yeah, and it's because love never works out for you. And up to here, I feel like love doesn't work out for you and you're up in your head about that. I feel like you do think about it a lot. I think you do think about it obsessively here, about finding a person that will pair off with you to the exclusion of others. Someone who's going to take time to nurture, bring balance to a situation, emotional balance. Because I feel like you, you're, um, I feel like what you have had to endure is the Five of Cups. Regret and sadness that things don't work out. I feel like you're, you've kind of closed yourself off to relationships, I want to say. I don't think you understand that this king is watching you. Um, but I feel like you, you are dealing with some things in hermit energy right now. So you're by yourself and trying to deal with some things, right? I feel like it's you need to come to a realization that you're a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> I don't know who I'm saying that to, but I want to say if you're a weirdo, please don't try and hide your weirdoness because other people are not interested in how weird you are. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I'm a weirdo, right? I'm sad rising. I'm just a weirdo. And and you're going to find your weirdo. You're going to find the person who you appeal to. Look, I feel like you're really driven to do things you want to do by yourself. Um, and I feel like you are very focused on you. I feel like... Um, that you have only in the past met people who were kind of lazy, who just didn't have your drive, Pisces, to do better, be better, you know, get the promotion, get the new job. I feel like you're really building your life, your pentacle life. So maybe you you are a business owner, possibly. You're someone who's building up not only your life, but you. This is the pre-empress energy, and that's why you've caught the eye of the king. So I feel like this energy here, the Two of Cups in the reverse, the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords, tells me that, you, that you're that you not interested in relationships because all they do is they bring hurt and pain and obsession. And so I feel like you're really focused on working on you. And I mean, that's, that's great, but I feel like you've caught the eye of the King. I feel like the King is seeing that you are working really hard on yourself. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. What are you working hard on here, Pisces? Ah, new beginning in love. Interesting. Okay, so I feel like whatever you do, you really love it. And you've had some sort of a new beginning. And I want to say that you have come through some sort of really hard stage in your life, Pisces. That you've come through a lot of hard things. Okay, Charlie is showing me because my very favorite movie in the world is Shawshank Redemption. And if you've never seen it, it's like... Um, um, Morgan Freeman is narrating it and when um, Andy gets out of jail he when he breaks out of the prison he climbs through he crawls through a sewage container or a sewage line that was like four football fields I think he says I want to say and, and he says he climbed through this this whole four football fields of sewage and, and of shit and came out came out clean I think that's you I feel like you've been through a lot of really hard things and you've learned to put your back to people who are not going to give who are not going to pour into you like you pour into them you've learned to turn your back on these people and I feel like you've had a new beautiful beginning I feel like your life is really great I want to say without dating without being with people I think that your life is really great but I feel like you've caught the eye of this king tell me more about this king please 
We've got the Eight of Wands. Oh, you're going to get... Ooh, this person sees you as the Empress. This person sees, sees that you have had some sort of an, a glow up. That they also know that you're single or that you are not maybe in in a relationship like the ten of cups is in the reverse to me it's like you're not in any sort of connection any sort of high level connection here i feel like this king wants to connect with you this is somebody here who sees your worth uh, somebody who sees that you have been working really hard building yourself up tell me more page of cups king of pentacles seven of swords we now have two kings in the room Somebody's concealing something from you. They, they're somebody who I believe is, I don't think this is, well, it could be two separate people. I'm just saying. There could be a king of pentacles and a king of wands. One that that is watching you because they're attracted to you. Somebody who's in fire. And one that is um, interested in coming forward to support you. To, um, to fall in love with you. To be stable and grounded with you. I feel this is something you don't see because the Seven of Swords is here. It does feel like you're really hard at work with the Eight of Pentacles. So the Seven of Swords is concealing a brand new beginning. A brand new beginning possibly with the King of Pentacles. But look, the King of, of Wands is watching you as well. I feel like you have two other two people that are watching you. One that is an Earth sign and one that's a Fire sign. Tell me what, um, what comes about here for Pisces. Tell me what this uh, turns out to be here. We do have the Star. We have the Five of Swords, and we have the Strength card here. So I feel like somebody does see you as like the brightest star in the sky. They see you as balance. They see you as love. They see you as someone who is quite balanced in your energy. Um, and I feel like they're hopeful that um, that you might be, be um, that you might be willing to come forward and speak to them. They're wondering if you two are compatible with the Five of Swords here. They're wondering if the, you two are compatible. It looks like with the Strength card, somebody's going to have the courage to communicate with you because they want to know, are you interested in a relationship? Are you compatible with them there? The Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. It does feel like somebody knows that you've had some sort of an ending in the past and that you're healing right now, that there's maybe some sort of an ending to your balance here. Um, I feel like somebody just wants to bring in emotion, though. And... I feel like it's coming in quicker than you think it is. The Hierophant is here as well with the Four of Cups. Somebody got bored with their connection. So it might be somebody who is who is in sort of a, yeah, a redundancy in the Hierophant energy. That's what it feels like here. So I, I want to say that this person, this person views you as someone who's healing because of a tough ending. They also um, are someone who is watching you work. So maybe you are somebody who is, um, online, maybe you have an online platform, but maybe it could be someplace like maybe you're in their workplace, like maybe you work in the workplace with them. Um, but it could be somebody who lives in the community as well, because we're looking at pentacles here. So I do feel that um, I feel like somebody sees that you brought things back into balance, regardless of what was going on, that you're very focused on you, very focused on your work. But I feel like someone's about to communicate with you. And I think it's going to be first, it's going to be the King of Wands. So the King of Wands, of course, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, I think that person is going to communicate with you first. But I think this one is the one you're going to be surprised about. This one is the one that you're not expecting to arrive. This one is the one that's been concealing themselves while they're watching you. This one could be the one who's watching your stories. This one's going to be bold, right? That's the, the king of wands. They're going to be bold. They're going to be in your face, and they're going to let you know who they are. You'll probably find out this weekend for some of you. But for others of you, this king of pentacles is playing it cool. They're the person who's going to move slowly, who's going to watch you, who's going to pick the right time, and then boom, they're going to show up and surprise you. Um, I don't think that you're expecting that this person is watching you. All right, let's find out what we've got for signs here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, we've got Libra and Taurus energy. We've got uh, Sagittarius energy. We've got uh, some Leo, Aries, Gemini, uh, Virgo energy. We've got uh, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, yeah, and uh, Virgo. There we go. I'm going to leave that right there. Thank you, Pisces, for coming here and watching. And if you all made it up to here, which I doubt you did, but thank you if you did. I'm going to go for now. I'll be back because I'm always back. You guys take care. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye-bye.